right, so if we wanted to set up an equation with this information, I could say from theta, I know something about adjacent, I know something about hypotenuse, so that would need to be cosine. Cosine allows me to pair up adjacent over hypotenuse. And, okay, so that's what we could have done uh, weeks ago. What they're asking us to do now, though, is to solve this for theta, make an equation for theta, <coughs> and we can do that by saying, okay, let's not do cosine of the angle. Um, let's do inverse cosine so what I can swap those two things around. So if I did that, that would end up being inverse cosine of this. So notice with a normal angle, or a normal trig function, I should say, uh, trig function equals a ratio. So here's the angle, the angle is the input, and the output's a ratio, something over something. But when we use an inverse trig function, we're inputting the ratio, and it's outputting the angle. So inverse functions, switching input-output, in this case they're switching uh, ratio with angle.